Hey, good morning guys. So we are at Jonathan Dixon State Park and we are gonna take the boat down the river and see what kind of fish we can catch. Let's go. Hey, I'm Pam and this is my husband, Audie. Together we are Salty Devotions. We sold almost everything we own, moved from Louisiana to the beautiful blue waters of Florida to eventually live out our dream and buy a sailboat. So come along with us for this adventure. We got us a little motorboat. That's probably not the right name for it, but Audie's our captain back here. And it is a beautiful day, so we are gonna see what kind of fish we can catch. And if we don't catch any fish, that's okay, because it's still a beautiful day to be on the water. Got yeah, Pam, got a little fishy. Pretty. Alright, let's go get another one. Alright, Pam just caught a little snapper. We're trying to find another one. We're looking for a snook. Everybody keeps telling us there's a few snook out here, so we're trying to catch some. So our fishing spot today is in Dickinson State Park. You can actually rent the little skiffs with the motors for $55 for two hours, and it's like $25 every hour after that, I believe. Um, but it's a nice little rod. It's pretty back here. You can rent kayaks and paddle boards and all that, but we decided to go with the with the motorboat. Try to get back and do a little fishing. Had a few bites and caught one fish so far, but we're still trying. It's been about 15 minutes. All right, Pam, let's go. Let's go. Alright, we found a new fishing spot We're back here by the dam. So we are at Trapper Nelson's and we are about to go into his cabin that he built in 1941 and then we're going to go into the guest um, cabin that he built in 1946. Old Cypress door. Robert Nelson built this all by himself. Cypress rafters, cross beams. So 
So the lady at the shop told us that Trapper Nelson was like the Tarzan of the swamp. So this is the gopher tortoise pen. Old Tom Pot must have cooked. Okay, so we are about to go into the guest house that he built back in 1946 and people would come and stay here and he would charge them eight dollars a night which back in that time was really good money for him to be making when guests came to stay Size of these beds, tiny old desk. Those beds are so small. All right, so down here there's an alligator pen, a snake pit, and then animal pens where he would, once he trapped stuff, he would keep them alive. Okay, this is the alligator pits. Wow, look at that. These are just what they call other animal pens. Oh look, he had, wow, wild cats. Look at this. that in there. And then this one says raccoons. And then somewhere around here he had a snake pit. <gasps> Look at these. The air plants. Wow. This might have been the snake pit. Or the little cages, I guess, for smaller little animals. I mean, for this man to build this stuff, and this stuff is still standing, and it looks solid still. Cool, living off the land. So the tide's starting to come up, coming up on the pier now. We're watching out for alligators, jump up on this dock and get us. Watch out, Pam. <laughs> yeah, it definitely came up. We've only been here for about an hour and it's already starting to cover the pier. Crazy. Mountain Trail, Mountain Tower, sorry. So we are gonna go to the Observation Tower. It's about a 10 minute walk up. Let's go check it out. All 
my, my partner in crime that left me. She made it about halfway and it was too hot for her, but she was almost there. I tried to motivate her to keep going, but I'm gonna go on without her. All right, a little breezy up here, but you can see the Indian River and beyond that, you can see the Atlantic Ocean. So it's a really pretty view from the observation tower. And when you come back this way, you can see Jonathan Dixon Park. We're on top of some sand dunes on top of the observation tower. And Pam is down there where the cars are parked somewhere. She quit about halfway. She said it was too much for her. It's too hot. About 90 degrees today. It is a little warm, but a great breeze up here once you make it up here. We had a great day at Jonathan Dixon State Park. We went on a flatboat, did some fishing. We went to Trapper Nelson's um, area and Audie went on an observation overlook. I was too hot, didn't make it, but Audie went. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. We had a great day. We had fun filming it, um, but stay tuned next week we are going riding horses on the beach don't forget hit the like and subscribe button it really does help us out and check us out next week bye guys